In the previous checkpoint, we have looked at the equation of a sinusoidal AC. In this checkpoint, we will now look at the characteristics of the sinusoidal AC quantitatively. For this checkpoint, we will focus on the current against time graph, although similar analysis can be made on the voltage against time graph. Recall the characteristics of a sinusoidal AC, period, frequency, and amplitude. How are these represented in this equation of a sinusoidal AC? First, period. This is the time taken for one complete cycle from one point of the wave to the next point of the same wave. How do we find this? Let us consider for a moment just a sine graph. Recall that as we cycle through the values of x, the first cycle ends at x equals 2 pi. Now, when we look back at the current graph, we will thus have omega t equals 2 pi at the end of the first period. And hence, t equals 2 pi over omega, which is the period of this AC current. Next, frequency. Recall that this is the number of complete cycles per second, and hence can be easily given by 1 over t, or omega over 2 pi. Last, amplitude. Recall that this is the maximum current value of an AC signal, because the range of sine is from negative 1 to 1, so the range of current is from negative I0 to positive I0. That is, the magnitude of the current is maximum at I0. Therefore, the amplitude is simply I0 in the equation. Hence, from the equation of the current in an AC, we are able to derive its streaming characteristics from the parameters omega and I0.